what are some of your mornings like do you go to bed intending to get up and spend time with God but then when the alarm goes off you hit the snooze then you hit the snooze again and then you hit the snooze again and then you've laid in bed too long and so then you get up and of course now you have no time for anything and you're in a frenzy and you're in a rush and so that makes you grouchy you know you should have spent time with God you didn't do it and the whole day basically just becomes a nightmare all I can tell you is if you don't spend time with God you are gonna have one tragic day after another after another after another after another after another it's amazing what happens when you give God that first little bit of time and I believe that you'll be you'll, you'll find your time with God so fruitful that then you'll start making ways to get more no every morning you need to go to God for your daily bread your daily wisdom daily direction too many times we're trying to do things only in our own strength our own intellect our own ability that's going to limit us God can see things that you can't see he knows the right people who should be in your life he knows where the danger is where the dead ends are God knows how to catapult you into your destiny you have an advantage are you taking time for your daily bread sometimes we rush out of the house I'm in a hurry I don't have time today Joe I got to get to work I live by this principle never meet with other people before you meet with God if you'll take time to acknowledge God say God I need you today lead me guide me keep me on the right path not only will your day go better but God will keep you from making mistakes start every day with Thanksgiving Thanksgiving is so important what are you thankful for do you do you thank God daily for even little things there's so much to be thankful for when you wake up in the morning say thank you for grace thank you for mercy thank you for understanding thank you for wisdom thank you for parents thank you for love thank you for kindness thank you for humility thank you for peace thank you for prosperity say thank you in advance for what's already yours true desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already that itch that you have whatever it is you want to do that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money that desire that itch that's God's proof to you sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours and anything you want good you can have so claim it work hard to get it when you get it reach back pull someone else up each one teach one don't just aspire to make a living aspire to make a difference you know don't don't ever waste a day once you, you know you think about time differently as you get older I think when you're in your 20s and maybe even 30s and maybe even 40s you don't you don't think too much about time but a few years ago it occurred to me that two-thirds of my life was over I just became much more aware of time and how how foolish it is to waste any day that you have you know there's something really interesting about time we all get the same amount in a day every day is 24 hours and some people are very very fruitful and effective and some people just waste their time day after day after day and that's a choice that we make but there's one thing about time once it goes by you never get it back so how tragic it is to waste any day of your life I think we need to live every day like it was our very last one and live it to 
the absolute fullest that we can live it.